week. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're all ready, boys. I was born. We're born ready. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I sound like Bobby Lee right there. Isn't he the uh, the uh, actor? Welcome. Actor from uh, Hangover. Yep, it's Kim Jong. I think it was, no, Bobby Lee was uh, Mad TV. Anyway, before I ramble about that, welcome to Lois Key, episode dose, episode two. Uh, the first uh, podcast we had a good time with. I had a good time with it. Yeah, it was, it was good. Raise your hand if that was your first podcast you ever did. Well, no, we did. We used to do podcasts a long time ago. Oh, we did do a it's, podcast. It was, my first it was our first legit podcast after podcasting became podcasting. You know, it seems like now everyone and their brother has a podcast, including us. Hey, everybody and their brother. <laughs> um, anyway, Crazy. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we have we've had. A couple of uh, a good good couple of weeks since our last uh, podcast. Uh, been doing some things. We uh, played some gigs. We played in a Harley Davidson. Um, what, what, what was it? A sales place? Yeah, they did sell it. Did they sell it, or was it like a club? It was, no, it was a dealership, and yeah, well, they had a barbecue there. They had great barbecue. <laughs> in a uh, state. You know what was crazy about in that um, and backstage the food that they had. Not only did they have Texas toast. I'm, I'm one of those guys, if it's barbecue, i got to have Texas toast. You know, like the thick toast. But they buttered it, and they Ooh. toasted it. Ooh. But it was in a bag. Like, Do they sell buttered toast like that? Can we talk about sauce for a second? Sauce. Let's so, talk about sauce. So barbecue sauce, sauce. Yeah. What, are y'all, what are y'all into? Do you like, the, you like the sweet stuff, or you like the vinegar base? I like vinegar-based spicy with sweetness, dude. Ooh, okay. A little bit of everything there. Yeah. What about I like you, Memphis Dry. I don't like sauce. Mem- Memphis Dry. Ooh. I don't like sauce. So this you know, just means you're lame. Uh, you know, it, everyone gets on to me like, oh, you don't like sauce and everything. But uh, I, I, it's funny because a lot of barbecue is made already with the sauce because I, I always tell people and like the, the cashier or the waiter or whatever, they're always, it blows their mind like, we cook it with sauce. She's know? like, this is barbecue. You're just bro. eating a pork butt at that point. Yeah, I guess. Or but a roast. I just like it dry, you know, and, and I, I put... The only thing I put on my barbecue sandwich is salt and pepper. That's just an American. So comment if that's sa- if that's sacular or sacrilegious <laughs> or anything like that. That's it's me. Marxist. Let's, uh, Marxist. Like like it if you eat your barbecue dry, or if you're well, a like vegetarian. Gavin. All right, Gavin, yeah, what's your favorite? I'll, I'll oh wait, like, I'm gonna guess. Don't Fo- what, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Let it's Gavin talk. Further, so. I'm not. I'm not even spitting out name brands here. What do you think? What, what's my What's my favorite? Like if it's sweet or saucy, or uh, salt or. I'm thinking you're going to go for a more tangy, acidic, vinegar base. Sweet mustard based. Sweet mustard base. That's that's next level. Spicy brown. Yeah, no, I'm 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 a vinegar guy, straight up. I figured yeah. that. Yeah, it's got a spice in that kick, you know. That's right. Well, man. you know it's funny because I'm never really been into hot things, um, like food wise. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I've I've never really got. But Lane actually kind of has gotten me hooked on. We go to uh, Moe's. Shout out to Moe's. We love Moe's. Um, and I actually tried the hottest salsa there, and I liked it. It's ghost pepper stuff. Wow. And I had I was definitely I had a little stopped up nose, and that just that was the cure. So I think you know if I ever have a cold again, I'm just gonna carry around these salsa packs. And just shoot it down my mouth, and it should open me up, right? You know that's crazy because I've always heard it works the other way. You get a stopped up nose if you do it. Yeah, that's saying? that's usually how it works for me if I'm eating spicy food. I don't know. That's not how it works for me. It makes sense. It would make you more congested. I don't know. We're just like your body's freaking out because it's like you got acid in your face. Because <laughs> there's skull full. You're like I like it. There's skull full. So good. Is it skull full or Scoville? Scoville. Scoville uh, levels are going crazy. Uh, anyway, we want to thank everybody that has uh, um, bought a T-shirt, all of our $40 patrons. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys are so awesome. We do appreciate it. That was a, that was a failed attempt at a golf clap. Let's give a good cough. There we go. Do the Dumbledore clap. The Dumbledore. See, is that uh, Harry Potter? It's a Harry Potter reference. I've never seen. I've seen parts of Harry Potter. I've never seen a full Harry Potter movie. Which is funny because I got uh, relentlessly called Harry Potter as a kid in high school or uh, in elementary. She's hated him because of for, it. For my glasses. You have something against witchcraft? Uh, I think it's what's ruining this country. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I don't have anything. I just no, 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 I don't like. I I barely like Lord of the Rings. Lord of so. the Rings is my shit, dude. Your really? shit. Lowest yeah, it key. was. <laughs> Highest Lowest key. key. Highest key. Uh, but no, thank you so much. Uh, the t-shirts look sick. We want to make a shout out to Kevin. Our friend who has, does our uh, designs, he has done some poster designs. Not only did that, he did our first CD, People Like Ourselves design, did a fantastic Straight job. Killed it, dude. And we hung out with him, and um, it was it was Pennsylvania. It wasn't. It was no. It was Cleveland. 
uh, after the House of Blues show. That was amazing. They uh, we got a uh, Airbnb and we we I don't think we went to sleep that night. We just had a great time. The Cleveland show got canceled. No, Cleveland did not get canceled. This was probably 2017, and we uh, we. Um, we did, and they, it was uh, him and his wife, and uh, we just had the best of a time, and we had to get up the next day and travel a long ways, which was tough. But anyway, shout out to Kevin. He, he, he also designed the cover art for our first album, for those of you who don't know. Is there an echo in here? Right. I just said that. You just said that? <laughs> no. I thought you were just talking about t-shirts. Uh, yes, but thanks for re- repeating you're, you're that. You're welcome. Yeah, just wanted like, to re- reiterate that. Like, like, wah, wah, wah. I know. I, I'm like <laughs> the teacher in, in Charlie Brown to, to Gavin. I wonder if that's what he hears on stage. Um, all that banter. All that banter, <laughs> yeah. Which we'll talk <laughs> about what I said <laughs> at that at that Harley Davidson place. Anyway, um, so yeah, thank you for the t-shirt orders. Thanks for Kevin for designing the heart and all that. That's awesome. Uh, Love That Hurts came out Which is why a bunch of you guys are here And why we're here today Doing this Patreon stuff Not only I mean it's mainly because I enjoy doing it But uh, but it's because of you guys um, And uh, w- the song is out we, we recorded that song Was it last year? Yeah It would have been it was, uh, it was a while ago now Almost a year It was right before uh, the New York trip last year Yep So we, uh, we did that Right, right after Um I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. The Ting was the dog. If you yeah, the it. Ting. We have our dog over here. <laughs> What's up, Nick? Uh, she's a very old dog. I don't know if you can see her. I think we mentioned Trying to her keep my time. hand away from her? Yes. She snapped at me she's, several times. She's got some chompers. We just hope she don't knock down the camera. I keep watching her. Anyway, um, so we, we re- re- uh, recorded that song last year, uh, and it's funny because we were like, man, this is the greatest song we've ever written at this point, and uh, it's still a good song. Um, but it's like now that we write more and more, it's kind of like, man, this is the better song. This is the better <laughs> song. So hopefully, uh, I still this is one of my favorites, dude. Uh, that is a good one. Hopefully, we continue to write better songs. When we write worse songs, is when we need to kind of think about it. Um, so uh, we did Balcony TV. That was cool. Uh, blistering hot. I've, oh, yeah. ne- I've never. I, I I was a little hungover, and we <laughs> we did that. We were supposed to be there at eleven. Me, Lane, um, and my girlfriend, we were running late. Uh, we were running late because it was we were shooting it at, I'm not going to mis- mistake and say it, it's SunTrust Park. Yeah, SunTrust Park. For those well, you we, guys, just, we couldn't find it. We got to have the GPS to challenge go a different way. For those of you guys who don't know, the Atlanta Braves changed their stadium in 2016 uh, um, from Turner Field to SunTrust Park. So... Um, <laughs> and honestly, we were all we were all talk, talking crap on SunTrust Park before we uh, we, before were. we showed we up. We were like, man, it's not the Ted, it's not Turner Field, it's it's not the same. There's no soul. But what happened? Uh, so we did the uh, we did the balcony TV session, which should be coming out pretty soon. Look for it. Um, like I said, blistering hot. It was just we. It was just way too hot. But uh, uh, what was the guy's name that shot the video? I want to shout him out. I can't remember. Uh, he was an awesome dude, though. Wasn't it like Jason? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, but uh, anyway, um, so that was really cool. Uh, and then shout out to our manager Todd for the hookup. We got to walk around the field. The sickest hookups. He yeah. he just he just gave him a it call cool. and said, "Hey, can we, we walk uh, on the field? And can we get in the park?" We and we were in the dugout. We were in the dugout. We were in the dugout and like we play sports or something. Dude, <laughs> we were. We got to go to the bullpen. We got to go to everything. And it was just the coolest thing because we did a tour at the uh, the Turner Field. And that was kind of co- – I'm not saying it wasn't cool, but it, it was just the guided tour. And it was funny because we would see people at the, this one we would recently did. We would see their, their, their tour group, like an actual tour you'd pay mm-hmm. for at, at SunTrust. And we were having, like, extra access, like, where we were walking in the dugouts. And they were looking at us like, who are these assholes? <laughs> and uh, so sorry to all those people who paid money. Um, but, um, that was insanely cool because, you know, and that kind of made me like start watching baseball again because I was just, like, <laughs> wanting to go. So if, if anyone wants to shoot me like $50 to buy some tickets to the Braves, that would be cool. Or even some tickets. Or honestly, you know, shoot the band money. That's actually what this is for. Don't shoot me money. That's right. Sorry, guys. Yeah, embezzling the fun. He's trying to embezzle funds over here, Gavin. Uh, oh, we that's, need to a fu- him. that's a funny story we can actually bring up. I'll, I'll make it really quick. Me and Lane, um, obviously we're brothers. We bicker a little bit. But uh, we... Um, we. This is about the jacket? This is about uh, about a Carhartt I'll jacket. I'll never forget it. I bought a Carhartt jacket. <laughs> I was cold. A bo- your boy was freezing. And um, I bought it with the band fund money. And what ended up happening, I thought 
I paid the money back. Yeah. I swear to God on my life. But in it, anyway, somehow the money didn't transfer through or whatever, and we had this big argument because he thought that I was embezzling funds. This well, was technically like you did. Technically. Seventy dollars. Technically, but it hadn't happened again, and I severely apologize. Arrest him. <laughs> Put my hands on my back. Immediately. Lock him in the brig. <laughs> uh, but uh, so, anyway, so that that happened. But uh, let's see what else happened. Um, oh, once again, thank you to those who uh, joined in the live session from the couch. Oh, my gosh. That was That's really fun. That was fun. so much fun. I'm going to go ahead and say on the record, like, I wasn't expecting it to go that great. Oh, no. It, it blew was, my it was expectations. So awesome. So I, I had a blast. Thank you so much to Sam and Aaron Birchfield, or Pip, as we say, Pip, Pip. and the Pansy. Pip the Pansy, actually. Um, that was fun. The jam at the end, that was cool. Yeah, oh, the, the, the jam. jam. Jam was the coolest part. Like, uh, so our songs, I, I think, I think they went through pretty well. And yeah. uh, Aaron and Sam's were absolutely beautiful. But that jam at the end, that with was, uh, with Aaron's Aaron's whistle solo. Flute solo. It's flute. It's flute solo. <laughs> Either so way. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, one of those, like, uh, the, just a whistle. Just a whistle. <laughs> yeah. Just Paradise City, the whole song. <laughs> uh, no, that was an ex- uh, extremely fun. We had a little crowd. We got some pizza. We uh, we uh, had some beer. Um, and it really felt like we were just at home and just yeah. chilling with some Hanging our out. friends really and everything, did. which is what we tried to go for. So we appreciate you for tuning into that. Uh, we will be doing another one of those for the next release which um, is coming up pretty soon at the uh, end of July. Uh, I don't think we have a, a... Do we have a date confirmed for the next song? Uh, we're going to be releasing Fingers Crossed. Fingers Crossed. I think it's July... Don't say a wrong date. It's at the end of the July. We'll post it uh, at the bottom of this, this video. Um, but it's... I'm Honestly, I'm going to go out and say of the new songs that we've recorded, this is my favorite. I know Gavin disagrees. It's not that you don't like the song, but it's definitely my favorite song. Just because it has like... It's a good song. It's definitely it's one of the first songs in our our career that we've kind of like jumped out and like I, I I really wanted to dive down and really work on the lyrics and get some crazy lyrics and everything. I mainly got the inspiration from our buds Stoplight Observations uh, because they're amazing Don't songwriters. Say that. No, no, no. I, I just, you can listen to the song. It doesn't sound like them. I just I listen to them. Their song that we we love so much, uh, Vanderlight. Check it out. Uh, Stoplight Observations, Vanderlight. That is an amazing song. Lyrically and musically. Uh, their, their whole uh, new releases, by the way. Check them out. They're our buddies. We're going to see them actually this Saturday. That's right. Unfortunately, we won't be able to go to their show because uh, we're playing at the exact same time. Exact same time right down the road. We're playing at the vinyl uh, this week. Uh, look for tickets online. Um, they're in our Instagram bio, and you can just type in the Georgia Flood tickets. Um, so, yeah, the Sam Birchfield, uh, Aaron, that was that was amazing. Um we just been playing around a little bit. We had, um, we, uh, oh man, just been playing around. We, we played, oh, Ice House Amphitheater in yep. uh, Lexington, not Kentucky, South Carolina, Lexington, South Carolina. That was really fun. That was, uh, it was funny because at the end of the show, we walked right out through the stands to go yeah. to the merch table. Yeah. And it was, it was funny because, like, literally I felt like I was Rocky running up the stairs. And just, all these people were just, like, <laughs> shaking my hand. Sister everything. Hazel was singing Eye of the Tiger. As yes, you ran dude. The... It was just, like, everything was in slow motion. It was amazing. Um, so what's uh, what's the new music you guys have been listening to? Any, anything um anything new special? New music. What uh, should you tell the, the uh, viewers? One thing, we are not going to uh, provide the music in these videos because we do not want to get flagged or copyrighted. But we will... <laughs> Tell you what to go listen to. What, what you been listening to? So I've been listening to. Uh, if you, any of you are uh, familiar with Wolfpack, this is a few of the few of the members did like kind of a kind of a spinoff thing called the Fearless Flyers. Oh uh, yeah, we actually right. listened to that um, going down the road. Listen to the whole album. That's right. It's got Nate Smith on drums. Nate Smith. Mark, what's his name from Snarky Puggy? It's like Tetria. I, uh, I don't know. I can't remember that guy's name, but then obviously you got Corey, Corey, Wong, Corey Wong, Joe Dart Joe on Dart. the bass. The incredible band, they have an EP out. Uh, is it just is is it just self titled Fearless Flyers? I can't remember. But just type in Fearless Flyers. Yeah, You'll Fearless Flyers. Um, I've been actually uh, listening to a, a band that we've actually played with. This is not new. I mean, it's a new record. It's a 2018 release. Uh, but uh, with the band that we uh, uh, really love is Mo Lauda and the Humble. We did a show with them in Athens at That's a right. fraternity party. And good Lord. And with Stoplight Observations, that was an amazing show. That uh, and I got to, uh, I was just standing in the crowd with all those college kids. I had no idea who they were, <laughs> with the, their drool, you know, with those little yeah, uh, the little 
what little vape things? things. I didn't try it, man, because you never know what they, those kids have in that stuff. But uh, all of no, them, all of them are hooked, right? Are they? No, like no the jewels. Like, I'm talking about you don't know if it's laced with something or anything. You, you can't know. open up the cartridges. Can you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't smoke the jewel stuff. <laughs> I smoke real cigars. Um, yeah, you smoke one cigar. No, I smoke, <laughs> I smoke a lot. I'm kidding. I need to quit. But, wow. Uh, wow. This dude's cool. Uh, but Mo Lauda, the song is Standing in Place. Um, and they played that song at the thing, and I had heard it on Spotify, and I was like, damn, man, this band's really good. Super nice guys, too. Oh, yeah. Hung out with them after the show. Um what you been listening to, new, new Lane? Anything new? Um, I've been mainly working on the new electronic stuff that we're doing. So, so nothing. Well, I mean, it's funny. Lane, Lane, Lane's the type of dude I'll come in here and I'll see what he's watching, and he's watching news on the Uganda uh, uh, politics. Do you even know where Uganda is? Yeah, it's in uh, Asia. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know where it is. Uh, but, no. uh, but anyway, um, so just not anything you've been listening to. No new. Uh, in trying to think, um, Gus Dapperton. Well, I mean, stuff that I like. I'm t- I've heard I've heard new songs that are not good. What's but that? The Gus Dapperton guy. So Lane, uh, lowest key. We're going. Uh, lowest key. We need to hit our lowest key button. We need if we have one. Lowest key. Well, it's not that it's not good. It's, I'm not a fan. Why are you not a fan? I just, I'm I'm not into the. Is it his haircut? And be honest. No. You know what we're talking about? I have no idea. Uh, on no, on the video, more... I'll, I'll show a picture. I'll put up a picture of this dude. Gus Dabberton is a... Uh, I'll pull it up while I'm talking about it. He Honestly, I judged him first and saw this dude's ha- haircut and was like, not a fan. because. <laughs> but, you know, I have to respect the guy for going out on his... On his uh, it's, it's just like, um, you know how uh, all these people are getting these edgy haircuts? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Gus... But anyway, I listened to the guy, and his song's not bad. It's very indie. Obviously, look at this dude's damn haircut. Uh, come on. Look at it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> look at this right here. Look at this. And I'll show you guys a picture on the... Uh, so oh, that's, that's a little five points, one-on-one that, right that's there. That's a little five-point starter pack. Ooh. Um, but anyway, you know... I get, I because I was the same way. I saw that that dude, and that's as humans, and I think as pe- as people, we sometimes tend to judge too much, and you know, and that, that's classic. You know, a lot of people have already stated that, but I listen to his music, and it's pretty good. There's a reason why he is uh, where he is. Uh, so listen to Gus Dabberton. Lane says don't, but I say do. Uh, yeah, what, you know, they can listen to what we want to. What, what's uh, what's some old stuff you've been digging into lately, Gavin? Old stuff, man. I'm always on the old stuff. I know that. It's almost know. exclusively the old stuff. Um, Anything in particular? Uh, really, all over the place in the in the jazz kind of thing. Uh, little little Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker. I dig mainly. That. Any key tracks? Um, no. Take five. That's Dave Brubeck. Take five. Yeah, that's Dave Brubeck. Dave Brubeck. Um, uh, one thing I've been I've been really diving back into is uh, the band. The band. I, the I had, band. I had the 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 freaking vinyl that's it's in the other room. I'm, I was meant to show it. It's an original vinyl uh, that I actually found at a Goodwill for like t- five dollars. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Not in the best shape, but a key track off of that album. I think it's their self titled their second album. Some people call it the Brown album, uh, which I would never call an album. The Brown you, you know, album. you know the Goodwill rarely delivers, but when it Rare. when it does, it, does. it it pulls through. I, I think, got. What's the coolest record you ever got or CD at Goodwill? Oh. Um, I got the Jimi Hendrix experience, straight up. Vinyl? Original, yeah. Uh, I have, it was like three bucks, I think. <sighs> Same thing with uh, Led Zeppelin 1, original press. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of some other stuff. Uh, mainly yeah, yeah, mainly really all you see stuff. vinyl-wise at Goodwill is always gospel records. Gospel and then like Christmas tunes. Yeah. Uh, like uh, the like completely like joke songs kind of thing. Albums. I don't know. I, I don't. I've oh, never no, it'll seen. Be, it'll be like serious. <laughs> I've never seen a complete well, joke you know, like, song. Well, album. I mean, like they they made it for like to sell commercials kind of stuff. I don't know. But uh, one of the key tracks before I forget on it and go on another tangent, it, I want you guys to check out is by the band, and that's across the great divide. Across the great divide. Oh, don't get me copyrighted. Uh, I think we can play songs without it being struck. I don't know. Somebody look that up for us. Um, we, we're not quite Joe Rogan yet. We don't have someone right here looking it up for us. But uh, <laughs> what old song would you recommend, Lane, that you've been listening to? Uh, old song. Um, I mean, kind of on an 80s kick. 
Uh, the Talking Heads have some good stuff. Oh yeah, Talking Heads. We've been listening to, um, what what is that song? It's home. It's where I want to be. Uh, I can't remember. Sure, sure. A band I know that we actually uh, I talked about, which was my pick a week a couple of weeks ago. They covered the song. I can't think of it across my head, but. Uh, I just like a lot of stuff with like synth stuff. Um, well, you're always on the synth kick, Mr. Synth Man. Mr. Yeah. Synth Man. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's get into a topic today. Uh, you know, we're all musicians here. Uh, you know, some of you guys that are even watching may be musicians. Um, so I would love to hear your comments. Um, but we, I thought I'd bring up the lowest you've ever felt as a musician. Ooh. And as as a you know starving artist, which we're still at that position yet. Uh, you know, right now. You know. Uh, uh, hopefully, with this Patreon, we'll have enough money to raise some funds, and we'll we'll become you know the next Greta Van Fleet. <laughs> the next Greta Van Fleet. Gus Dapperton. Or Gus Dapperton. But the uh, third Led Zeppelin. Yes, we, that needs to be a third one. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd bring up the topic: uh, the lowest you've ever felt as a musician. See, like, what do you mean by that? Like, do you mean I will go just, first? And just, let just you go. Understand. You know, how, however you take it. I have two. I have two, uh, and. I'll guess so I'll go. I'll do one, and I'll let you guys talk about, it and then I'll I'll end up with the, with another one. Okay. Um. So, the lowest I've ever felt as a musician, um, was I was telling you this before the podcast. Uh, was when we played at a gig not too far from here, um, which I'm not gonna name it. Uh, but uh, we played, and man, we were doing mostly covers at that point, and. We were like our the only people that showed up. We really was our our grandma, our mom and dad, and our just you know family members. Well, there were there was a bunch of people there. Well, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. And so we we played, and we and and this was a a big bar that a lot of people will go to. And uh, and so we were like, this is gonna be Friday night. Friday night. It's gonna be a great night. Uh, Evidently, this dude remembers. I know. Uh, (laughs) And and this before Gavin was in the band. And we started playing. There was, I mean, it was early. We started playing around eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So there's no one really there. But there was a lot of people there in the bar, and we were playing, and we were we were played our asses off. And then afterwards, we get done, we turn off the amps, and for a break, the rap music would come up, and in came all the people. In came all the people to start dancing. That's where all these people were. They were at the bar, and then all the rap music and the dance music, the fake music, they well, wanted the to hear that. Too. There was no country music. It was all rap music. I'm sh- guaranteed and, and they played was, Luke Bryan's And there was just all this rap music. And people came in and they started dancing that. And then what was worse was when we plugged and we, we turned, when they stopped that music and we striked the first chord, they all dissipated. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just probably the lowest moment. I was like, man, should I really be doing this? The electric like, band will eventually take over. The electric electronic. band. Electronic. Ugh, man. Well, DJs are going to go out of... Um, even DJs. Yeah, eventually it's going to be real DJs. DJs. Even DJs are too human. No, no, there's going to be a computer that just plays the song, and people are going to go to bars where the, a computer, the, which computer they there like. Why don't they just remember the, shuffle? Remember, remember the thing, the little blue things that all these these uh, bars have in there? It's like the little carry, the little like the the jukebox. Ju- jukebox? Yeah, Waffle House has them. All these places have them. Where now you just play that. The DJ is like, what the hell, man? <laughs> DJ can't even get a job anymore. But uh, that's my that's probably my lowest. Uh, Gavin, do you do you have anything that you can think about? Oh What's man, what's the lowest you've ever felt? Like well, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the times I've felt low have been with you guys naturally. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> it's the, it's the truth though. It's the but truth. um, because of us or because of us outside circumstance? It's, uh, it's both. It's a little bit of both. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> almost always an outside circumstance. Um, hey, anything but, you can say anything on lowest key. On lowest key, let's see. Uh, Don't mention any names. I had a uh, I had a band in high school. Um, I played I played guitar naturally, and uh, and we had this we had this drummer. He was kind of a cool guy. He knew a lot of people. So um, we played we played one show and our first show. He brought oh man, there were there were there were probably eighty or ninety people there from school. I was it was, there. You, he was the, you were there. That's right. I showed up and I left because it was too crowded. There was there were so many people there. It was it was honestly ridiculous. And a tad bit jealous. We go. made we made close to <laughs> close to a grand in tips that night. That's a, lot. a grand? Um, yeah, close to a grand. Jeez. Yeah. It was it was pretty insane. Um, and that was our first show too. Dang man. Um, but we played we that. played we played three or four shows and then eventually uh, this this guy kind of got in some trouble at school, and we realized that the rhythm guitar player was a better drummer than he was. So uh, so we kicked him out, right? And uh, we played a reunion show after that with this uh, with our 
previously rhythm guitarist on drums, and um, two people came out. Yeah. Two two people. Been there. Been there, dude. Yeah, it was just the uh, the reduction was was so hardcore. That was our uh, that was our last show as a full band. <laughs> you just you were you, we, you were we, here. We went from here. Yeah, nobody starts right here. No. No, and it just went boom. And, and you started like a straight nose dive. <laughs> straight nose you know, dive. But well, see, some people say that's why Metallica kept Lars Ulrich, dude. It's because his dad. Well, he had a lot of friends, and his dad was really rich. I, yeah. Lowest key, Lars Ulrich. No, I mean he's. He, I mean now, I mean he's a good drummer. I no, coming from a guy who I idolized. I used to be a drummer. I idolized Lars Ulrich. I used to at our shows that when we were a metal band. I used to stand up and like he did and get the crowd going on that. That's right. But Lars Ulrich is an overrated drummer. The overrated musicians we'll we'll talk another day. But uh, Lane, uh, that was that was a very good good uh, lowest, you know, for lowest key, lowest lowest point key. As a Lane lowest point as a musician where you wanted to quit. Where you felt like the scum of the earth, Lane. Well, like, see, that's what I'm trying to say. So, it, like, we all have been there where, like, there's, like, no one shows up to a show. Or, uh, like, people walking away. Our first show we ever played was a metal show that everybody walked away halfway through our set. And Lane I, wanted to quit. Yeah. He was I, ready that, to quit. That made me feel bad. But talking about low, like, made, well, I guess that would be it, really. The, the oh, you got to come up with another story. We've already said that one. When did we say that one? Just five seconds ago. What's your lowest? Give me something where you're just like, man, I need, maybe I need to be an accountant. Oh, every time you play the <laughs> Oh, we're, we're going to cut that. We're going to have to we'll beep that out. Uh, <laughs> that's going to sound funny beeped out. Uh, basically, we'll just say uh, there's this bar. No. We're not even going to say what state, what city. Mm -mm. There's there's this bar that we always play no, at. No, I mean, we got we to gotta be honest here. If we could bring people there, it would be a fun show. True. It it would, but you always feel a little dirty after you leave. Yes, there's and not in a good way. No, no, but <laughs> uh, we're we're. Uh, I do agree. I do feel low when I play this place. But once again, that is just this one place. But it is an experience every time we play it. I That's true. That. But uh, we're talking about it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Lane, um, seriously though, you got to help us out. Here. Well, I mean, see, it's kind of it's kind of the same long lines, but like no one shows up kind of thing. That's the one that really hits you. I had another one. This is going to be my second one, and uh, we're going to try to wrap things up here. Um, but I remember this was recent. This was uh, at um, – and it, honestly, it wasn't low. It was just – this is honestly a funny low moment. Like being so starving. Uh, we were playing at this gig, and they had food in the green room, and it was like one of those things where they, they had these sandwiches. And um, – after the show, they said, "Take whatever you want to take." So of course, we grabbed the sandwich. We grabbed the loot. Wait, is this the ant sandwich one? Thanks for giving away my story. You but said it this, last week. This is I said it on the session, but some people may not have caught that. But basically, uh, this was uh, we had we had these sandwiches and we sat set them down on the ground. We were loading up, and so we get in the car. We had like a four hour drive, and and all of a sudden, I'm sitting in the passenger seat, and we grab these sandwiches. And uh, Colin, our drummer in the back, goes, these sandwiches have ants on them. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, Lane doesn't think to throw this his sandwich on the ground. He hands me the sandwich with the ants covered on it. And I'm like, shit. <gasps> and, um, but it's funny. Colin and everybody, I think we picked all those ants off and we oh, ate yeah. those sandwiches. Out of principle. <laughs> we ate those sandwiches and that was a low moment where we were, uh, but not where it was. It was funny. It was. Oh yeah. It's not where I wanted to quit or anything. It was. Just, I was so hungry. I, I'm gonna eat these sandwiches anyway. <laughs> so, that's that's. Uh, we'll eat the ant sandwiches. We're gonna for eat the, the ant stories. So then now we have the ant sto ant sandwich story, but. Uh, but yeah, any uh, any other stories you got that you felt like you were just a worthless piece of trash? Oh man. <laughs> well, I mean, another one is when we all got um, drank too much at that place. That one place. Yeah. That one place. And uh, we some made of us may have woken up with uh, lipstick. Yeah, and then we uh, <laughs> walked to a Mexican restaurant the next day. Ooh. Yeah. That was. That's why yeah, we you know were the only ones really at that party too. There was no one really there but us. But somehow there was lipstick that found. I think somebody found some lipstick in a drawer. But yeah. that's another. That's another story. 
But you know that that could have that could have happened without being a band, just yeah. getting getting trashed and then having to walk to a Mexican restaurant. Uh, that's one point three miles away the in, next in, day. In the daylight. It's in just the day. Oh, it's so hot it's in, in Texas seething. too. Uh, uh, you're not supposed to say where it is. I can, I can give away the state. Low it's fine. Key on no, Gavin we're gonna. Here, he's giving away all the secrets. <laughs> we're gonna have to. <laughs> beep, Lowe's key on Gavin. We're gonna beep him out. No, but anyway, well, guys, that's all the time we have today. We are actually gonna be doing some. Uh, we're working on a song today. So we need to get back to that. We just thought we'd do a little podcast. Um, so this has been episode two. Uh, comment below uh, if you're a musician with the lowest you've ever been through. Uh, or um, or even if you're not a musician, let us know. what. Right, the... well, we can't end it here. we got to bring it back up. No, I mean, it's fine. Ending on the low point? That's the lowest key. <laughs> lowest, lowest key. Uh, no, we need that piano sound. But no, uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, um, we will be back shortly to do another podcast, episode three. It's going to be crazy when we're like episode 690. <laughs> uh, by that point, I hope we have Joe Rogan on here. Joe Rogan's done a thousand. No, he's done more than that, probably. Well, we're going to yeah, have a thousand. That's though. the goal. That's, that's the goal, Patreon, to get Joe Rogan on our on our podcast. I don't think he'd do or it. Or Joe Rogan. That would be, actually be better for it. <laughs> it's like Joe Rogan's a patron. <laughs> oh, God. That would be amazing. Oh, my God. But anyway, guys. Uh, once again, stream Love That Hurts, uh, that song. Uh, make sure we were trying to rack those Spotify plays up. So uh, let's, let's, let's keep, it, keep it up, the good work. Check it out. Um, we're going to be having a new merch. I know we're, we're doing that pretty soon. Um, and if you're in Atlanta, check out this new show we're going to be doing because we're going to be playing two new live songs. We're going to yep. practice tomorrow to actually practice them. So anyway, until next time, I'm Brooks. I'm Gavin. And I'm Lane. And we're the Georgia Flood. This has been Lois Key. Take it easy, guys.